How's it going, everyone? This is Crypto Foxy. Hope your day is going well. In this video, I want to talk to you a bit about uh, Shiba Inu and uh, some things that Lucy Shib has been discussing on X, formerly Twitter. Um, most of you probably know Lucy. Uh, she's a very prominent uh, uh, influencer. Well, I call her an influencer, but she's the marketing specialist for Shiba Inu. Uh, so she's a little bit more than an influencer, definitely. Um, so let's have a look here. So this is Lucy's uh, X account. So it's it, uh, she's titled um, Shiba Ecosystem Official Shibarium Tech with Marketing. Um, so she goes on, she's always sharing some insights here on Shiba Inu. Um, she also, you know, always has, you know, some tidbits to point out, you know, some tips and tricks and such. And we're going to get into that here in this video. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also go follow uh, Lucy on X. I'm sure she would appreciate that as well. Um, so she has an interesting request to um, to Crypto.com. Lucy has taken to X app, formerly known as Twitter, to deliver a message from the SHIB team to the CEO of major exchange Crypto.com. So she wanted to show SHIB, um, show the SHIB's team support for Crypto.com, and they're doing great work, she says. Uh, they also offered its chief uh, CEO, Chris, to integrate the promising Layer 2 blockchain Shibarium, launched by the SHIB developers in the middle of August. Lucy believes that Shibarium integration would make a fantastic addition to the Crypto.com exchange. That would be really cool. And Crypto.com is known for being a major SHIB supporter. Um, they do, uh, at one point there, they did hold, I believe it was the most tokens held by an exchange. Don't quote me on that. I would have to check that out. But I'm pretty sure that like the majority of their token holdings were Shiba Inu there at one point. Um, back when, uh, you know, we were seeing exchanges collapse and they had to come out with their proof of reserves. Um, we saw exactly how much she, you knew that crypto.com was holding and it was a massive amount. Um, so she also explains the importance of bridging assets before burning SHIB. This is a tip that she has shared as well. So she explained to the community, the great importance of burning Shiba Inu meme coins or bridging Shiba Inu meme coins before burning them. So she stated when users initially send their SHIB to Shibarium, the coins become locked in the bridge contract and their substitute minted versions begin to circulate on the Shibarium blockchain. Therefore, when users try to burn their SHIB, SHIB token from Shibarium, sent, which is uh, sending them to a dead wallet where they can never be accessed again, um, they burn not the actual SHIB, but the minted version of these coins. The originals remain locked within the bridge contract. So she said like before, she wanted to provide some clarification on why it's important. Um, when you initially bridge your SHIB to Shibarium, the original SHIB tokens are locked. So you got to bridge them back is what she's saying. Um, in order to actually burn real SHIB, um, first need to bridge their Shibarium version of SHIB back into the original meme coin and release them from the contract. Only then burns will be effective and will actually reduce the circulating supply of Shiba Inu. So that is very, very important for everybody to understand. So don't burn your, uh, your. it's almost like a you, you deposit it and they give you a certain token to represent your holdings. And then you, anyways, you have to bridge it back. Um, so she also reminded the community that in the world of crypto, there's no magic. Those invest in, in crypto need to know how it works in reality and understand the market mechanisms involved. So developers in crypto, uh, especially when it comes to SHIB or any, really any project, um, developers don't impact the price. She believes that it's holders and investors who have the power here. So if anyone's unhappy with the work of the developers, it's best to move on. And she advised the community, adding again, that there are no guarantees in getting rich overnight. We shouldn't, you know, we should be more concerned about the, you know, viable, um, the viable nature of the project we don't need to get rich overnight i mean you know if you want to go make a dgen play whatever uh that's fine you know get in get out as quick as you can make a 2x or or hopefully you know more but um with projects like shiba inu uh, they're here for the long haul they're not here to just pump overnight and they, they're putting in a lot of work right the developers are building this ecosystem for you know longevity and um, they're not looking to get rich overnight. They want, you know, this to be uh, something that people are going to use down the road. And if we need, if we want Shiba Inu to be successful, we need to use the network. It, you have to, you know, use Shibarium, use uh, Shiba Swap, you know, use, you know, all those things are going to help the ecosystem. And that's really what where the success comes from. The developers can put out anything they want. They can build the best programs ever in the world. And if nobody uses it, they're not. What good are they, right? Um, so she's 100% right here. Uh, so 
that tokens like SHIB can experience significant price increases in a short period, sometimes up, you know, 1,000% in a week. And if investors quit before that without studying the underlying technology and understanding it, they may regret it. Uh, in such cases, it's crucial to make wise decisions, but please take the time to learn how crypto works. So that's some very good um, advice from Lucy. Normally, I don't like to say the word advice because, you know, none of it's financial advice, but um, she does make some valid points and it's definitely something to consider. I mean, you don't get into something like Shiba Inu, uh, who has, you know, proved time and time again that they're here for the long haul to, um, you know, get in. Just, you know, if you're going to get in to make a quick buck, you're going to make, you know, maybe 10, 20 percent. And that's absolutely cool. Right. But, um, you know, don't expect to, to invest 100 bucks and make a million by next month because it's probably not going to happen. But that's what I got for you in this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks to uh, Lucy Shib for providing that information. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment if you like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.